All right, uh, welcome to my uh, Cisco RV130W unboxing. So, oh, I, I don't even get to use my knife. This is already uh, there's there's no there's no seal there. Okay, here we go. All right, the uh, standard CD that nobody uses. The uh, support numbers. Uh, these are good actually if uh, if you run into trouble. Uh, Cisco can actually help you configure things from right from scratch so if you don't know anything about routers and you want to learn this is uh, uh, basically a free education call them up and they'll guide you from installing it from nothing to a fully functional setup so good to keep if you don't know anything about routers the uh, quick start guide the only thing we need from this is the default username and password it's usually just uh, Cisco Cisco uh, let's see, it's somewhere in here. Connecting equipment. Okay, so launch web browser. So the default IP is 192.168.1.1. And username and password. What was it? Okay, well it's usually Cisco Cisco, it's somewhere here, I can see it says, alright screw that, alright French version, um, alright so, it doesn't feel very heavy, um, okay so, black it's plastic this kind of looks like metal but it's it's plastic so let's just get rid of this so we get a full view all right so I haven't used a, an RV router in, in a long time I, I just don't have the need for these anymore I use the uh, PF sense uh, router software now. Uh, I use the PC engines uh, for small clients so I really don't have a need for these anymore except for the client I'm gonna visit tomorrow and uh, I, they already have a PFSense router there but um, there's some issues with the VoIP and I'm gonna try and uh, perform some uh, diagnostics using something else besides PFSense because the VoIP carrier believes that the PFSense is the issue uh, although it works uh, with most of their phones there it's only one phone that's having issues so I doubt that it's actually the router but I, I just figured I'd, I'd buy a Cisco router because it's a it's a familiar name for uh, a lot of these uh, VoIP carriers so uh, if it doesn't work uh, with this setup then they won't complain too much that oh it's, it's a Cisco you know RV router and our stuff doesn't work with that um, so it, this this should work well for most small businesses, five to ten users. I wouldn't really put it up uh, on anything bigger than that. So there's a USB port. So I'm not quite sure what's that used for, but um, the uh, antennas here they're not. Let's see, can we screw these off? No, these are fully attached, so uh, you can't screw them off. Uh, let's take a look. So you got your standard four LAN ports, one WAN port. There's actually a power button. And so the, the 12 volt DC here. All right, let's see anything else. So, so let's take a, another look again. Front, side, USB port. Not quite sure what that is for. It might be to save the configuration. It might be to attach a printer. It could be a... Um, a print server as well I don't know I'll hook this up eventually and and find out but so far this this is the main unit let's put this aside so standard cable AC adapter let's take this out so what I've noticed is that uh, Cisco seems to be using better quality AC adapters for for these small devices now. Uh, I think the uh, 
The smaller AC adapters were failing too often, so they, they switched to a, a different company or a different brand. Um, so these are all uh, switching power, power um, AC adapters. And the main difference between the old-fashioned ones and these is that these are very light and these fail more often. If you have an old AC adapter, they're heavy, they get really warm, but those last forever. These things are really light and, well, they, they fail often, so that's all I can say about these. Alright, nothing else in the box. Okay, that's it. One more look. I'll open this up uh, another time, but uh, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing. There you go. Yeah, feels pretty light. Looks okay, but uh, I wouldn't put this anywhere important. Especially with these small antennas, I don't think the range would be very good. All right, I didn't even get to use my knife. 